Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll show you how you can use DocuSign connector in Power Automate to send a document for e-signature. We will use SharePoint as our document source. Welcome back. So the first thing that we are going to use, we're going to use a SharePoint document library to store the document. And as soon as the document will be uploaded to this document library, I want the Power Automate to trigger, get the document from this library and send the document for e-signature using DocuSign connector. Okay. So this is my library. The next thing what we're going to do, we're going to log into Power Automate and I'm going to create a new automated cloud flow. And my trigger is going to be SharePoint when a file is created. Okay, so when a file is created property only, I'm going to select my site address here, library name. Okay, so this trigger is only going to give me the property of the file, but we also need the content of the file that we are going to send for signature. So we will use another SharePoint action, get file content. Okay. And of course, site address, we're going to select all the time. And in file identifier, once you select the box, you will see all the property that you are receiving from the when a file is created. And what we are looking for, identifier. Okay, so this action will give me the content of the file. Now we'll click on the next step. Now this is where we're going to start using the DocuSign. So I'm going to search for the DocuSign here and as you can see here I have a DocuSign connector so I'm going to select that. So to send a document for e-signature using DocuSign the first thing that you need to do you need to create an envelope. An envelope is nothing but uh, a package that you will create or add document to and then you will send this package for the signature. So this is the action that you're going to use called create envelope. Now once you select that and if you are first time using it it's going to ask you for sign in. So the requirement for DocuSign connector is that if you want to use the DocuSign connector in the Power Automate, you should have an account. If you don't have account, what you can do, you can start a trial account to test this functionality. And if you have a DocuSign account, you just need to use the same account to log in and it will create the connection, right? Okay, so this has been created. Now, if I show you the DocuSign, so once you create a trial account, and once you log into your DocuSign portal, this is what you see there. You can see it, my trial version is 27 days left, but you can see all the agreement and everything over here. We are not going to use much of this screen because we're going to make this more automated way. So once you create your account, create the connection, you should be able to see your account name here. So you select your account name, email subject. Okay, so we created the envelope. Now the next thing we're going to do, what we need to do is add a document to this envelope, right? So again, search for DocuSign and there is an action called add documents to an envelope. Select that. We have already created the connection, so we don't need to recreate it again. We can use the same. It's going to ask for envelope ID and this envelope ID you are getting from your previous action. Now, if you look here, the document that they are looking for is in base 64 the get file content that we are that we have used to get file content is not going to give us the base 64 so what we need to do we need to convert the file content that we've got to the base 64 before we send that to the docusign so go here and click add action here compose okay and we're going to add expression conversion function click see more and there is an action called base 64 value so select that what is our value is the response that we are getting from the file content. Click OK. So this compose will convert the response that we get from file content to the base64. And we can use this response in our add document action. So go to the document base64 and output of that compose actions we're going to pass here. Then we have the document type, right? If your document type is always going to be document or you have a fixed document type you can select but if you want to make it dynamic enter custom value 
we're going to go to the expression and we are going to use a simple function so we're going to use last split okay and what we are splitting go to the dynamic content from our trigger when a file is created property well only we're going to search for the file name with extension go to the end and what is our separator single quote dot okay so what this function is doing it is splitting the document name with extension with the dot separator and picking up the last that is the type of documents either it's going to be pdf excel doc whatever the type of document that you uploading click okay okay and then we have the document name that you can get it from when a file created name so we added the document to the envelope now next what we need to do we need to add a recipient so again search for document sign add recipient to an envelope okay select that you're going to select your account id so envelope id and the recipient type so as you can see here DocuSign has many different recipient types that you can use like for example you can send a document only for edit in-person signer that is not e-signature need to sign this is what we are going to use today but you can also use like need to view receive a copy sign with business there are so many that you can use what we are selecting is need to sign you still need to click on show advanced option because what you need to pass is the signer name and the email address now remember you can also pass this these as a dynamic value from your document library as well if you have that requirement so this is done now the last thing we need to send this envelope for signature so docusign and send envelope action we should be looking for send envelope select that pass your account id and your envelope id Okay, I'm going to click save, test. Now I'm going to go here and upload a document. Okay, let's wait for flow to trigger. So as you can see here, the flow got triggered. It actually also successfully completed. So now if I go back to my Outlook, so I have received this email from DocuSign. This was the subject line that we have used demo agreement i can see the message if i click on review document it's gonna open the document and i can click continue i can review the document and select the sign and sign it and click finish and as soon as i'm going to do it i should be able to complete the process yeah so that's very simple approach to send the document i hope this video will help you thank you very much thank you for watching